is Homestar1992 here, or go on. And today I'm going to show you how to get album art cover for your iTunes. So I'm going to show you how to go from this bleak, bland look to something more like this, or even practically this, cover flow. But first of all, you're going to have iTunes at the latest version to get the grid look which is this. So to make sure that you have the latest version, go to iTunes on a Mac, of course, and go to um, About iTunes. I think this is the same applies for a Windows program, Windows version of it also, and it'll say iTunes 8. If it doesn't, you'll need to obviously upgrade it. Now the way to upgrade it, through a Mac way today, I'm going to show you the examples of a Mac. I'm sorry that I don't know how to do it on a Windows, but basically all you have to do is go into iTunes and go to check for updates. Click on that, check for updates, and if it goes, oh, if you're on the older version, which I think, say, 7, 0 .7 yeah, 7.1, I'll say, oh, do you want to upgrade to the latest version? And click yes, download, install and then do it again and I should say the version of iTunes 8.0.1 is the current version then you're good to go. Okay so now we're updated to the latest version of iTunes now we want to try and get the art cover for a particular album. Today in this case we're going to be using one of the songs from Jonas Brothers as you can see it's only got one song. Okay so what you want to do is you want to select the song Okay, or look for a song that doesn't have art cover. So in this case, as you can see over here, there's no art cover. Which is a good thing, because this is what we want to try and change. So, what you want to try and look for is the album's name. Which, in this case, it's About Time, which is the name of the album. So what you want to do is you want to open up your browser. And then what you want to do is you want to type in It's About Time. And then after that, Wiki then click enter or whatever you want to do, however you do it. Now it, there's two things, it either generally shows up in the first one, which in this case it does, it's about time with Jeremy Scrubber's album, Wikipedia. If not that one, it generally shows up here too. But click on the first one, and as you see, there it is, there's the art cover. Now as a general rule of thumb, Wikipedia does have a vast majority of album covers for music, but if it doesn't, you might want to try something else like an album's name and then Amazon. So continuing on, now that you've got the album's art cover um, nicely displayed over here, what you want to do is click on it. Pretty simple. And it should show up in its highest revolution as it can, so in this case it does. The bigger it is, the better. If it's smaller, it's not recommended, but you can go with it. It's up to you. Now, all you want to do is right-click or control-click if you're on a Mac and copy the image. Nice and simple. Then what you want to do, you're not supposed to say that. What you want to do after that, then, is, is obviously go back to iTunes. Now, how most people do it, say if this is the whole album, people do this. They go on to one song and then they paste it. And then it does only one song. Which is alright if it's only one song, which in this case it's perfectly fine because it's only one song. But if it's a whole album, it's a good idea to obviously find. Okay, we'll do it in another album. We'll go back. Say we want. Ridiculous. As you can see, all these songs have, the, as a selected item, that one cover. Then what you want to do is, the simple way of doing it, is selecting the first one from the album, to the bottom of it, by pressing shift click, which selects all the songs from that album, and then you can go and then go paste, which will do that. And then a screen will pop up, most of the time you go in processing, and what it does is, it puts all the album art cover for each song into it. 
and you have now, all you have to do now is repeat the process over and over again until you get something like this. Obviously, I'll zoom out a bit. I have art cover for every single album. As you can see, it's a nice display to have. What a good thing about having this also is when you can go through cover flow, you can actually act. You can actually see your art cover as you're going through instead of stopping and going, okay, who's this? That's simple. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm going to make another tutorial later on, or probably today, later afternoon, as you can see at the time, for a program that you can download for your Mac. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Windows users. It's a Mac only application. And do it for another way, which basically does the same thing I do, but it just takes all the time out instead of going through your browser and doing it. But yes, this tutorial can be both used by Mac and Windows. Windows, on the other hand, has one problem. I don't know if you can do your latest update by going into iTunes and then check for updates because I don't think they'll have that there. But you can do all the copying and pasting after it, except the shortcuts are a little bit different to you guys, but it's relatively the same. So my name is Dylan, or my screen name Homestar1992, and until next time, please don't take drugs and stay in school, kiddies. Bye.